Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. Today, I am at Elite. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm here all the time. They're a big landscaping company. I'm always doing clean outs for them on their vehicles. Whenever they get new vehicles, I'm setting them up. But today, what I'm here to talk about is my favorite type of tool that I use, and that's an air blowout tool. And here I have the two most popular, which is your Tornador, which is basically the top of the line, and then your Vortex cleaning tool, which is more of an affordable version. And I'm gonna talk about the differences between the two and what you can use them for. So stick around. All right, so I'm gonna take you with me. This is a normal truck that we see at Elite. This is an F-150. Now I'm gonna do it inside out. This is just an express cleaning. So these guys understand that I'm not gonna get it 100%. That's the agreement that we have. But I'm gonna show you all this dirt, dust, debris, this is all stuff that you would just get with a vacuum or this is the stuff that you would get with a detail brush. Using the Vortex cleaning tool has virtually rendered the detail brush extinct for me. I barely ever use it anymore. So I'm gonna blow all this stuff out and then I usually just go straight to vacuuming and wipe down and I can actually skip a lot of what I would normally have to do uh, to get a truck clean. So go ahead and stick around with me and we're gonna go through it right now. Let's do this. So we are first going to use the Vortex cleaning tool. Connect it to your air compressor here. This is the cheaper of the two. Now when you hold these, you can feel the difference. You can feel the difference. There is definitely a difference in, as far as the feeling of quality. However, I would beg to say they perform exactly the same and the Vortex cleaning tool is $20 cheaper. So let me show you some examples. This is how I would use it. So you get the idea. The idea is to use it as a loosening tool, right? To loosen debris, blow debris out. You can use it intentionally to blow stuff out of the vehicle, which I like to do is work towards the center, pull myself out towards the edge of the vehicle to get uh, all the debris out. That's what I like to do. Okay, so we're coming into the driver's side. Everybody knows that's always the dirtiest. This is no exception. Now, we got the Tornador the flagship, the best version. If you hear that airflow leakage, it's actually from my connector, so it's not that. Let's go ahead and use this now on this. You see the dust here. Same idea, towards the center, blow out towards the outside. See all this dirt down here? So another great use of the uh, blowout tool that I didn't mention before is when you're cleaning your cup holders out and other plastics that are removable, the rubber pieces. Uh, so you clean them off with your degreaser, with a brush, and then you come back in and use the Vortex cleaning tool to get all the water off. So this is what I'm talking about here. I got all these pieces here. These are all pieces here that I've cleaned. Cup holders, these two pieces here. I'm gonna take, make sure that I got my air compressor on. And then we are gonna go ahead. And just like that, it's dry. Dry. All right, so you're getting an idea of how I use it for the inside. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you my exterior uses for this tool which I like even better, to be honest. Um, a lot of people will tell you not to use it on the outside. Don't be scared. It's like I always say, just try it out. It's not really gonna hurt anything. So 
let's go ahead and check that out. So now we reach the exterior. I just washed this vehicle. And what I'm gonna use this for is the blowout tool, right? I'm gonna blow out all the water from the cracks and crevices in the grill. Something that you would use an air dryer for, but this thing costs 60 bucks. Air dryers are anywhere from 100 to 500. And you can check out how you can get exactly the same results. I have to say though, by far, my favorite thing to use this for is wheels. Drying off the tires so I can put tire shine, hitting the lug nuts, because it's notorious for catching water. This is where I like to use this tool the most. that just go back and dry the little drops and we're good all right guys so we're back at the stay slick garage now let me just talk about durability both of these things suck horrible durability the cones break they start leaking air the vortex tool leaks air behind this button here all the time I've been through about four or five of these in about six months uh, the good thing is I just keep returning them to Amazon now this just on the way home this is on my trailer and the cone broke just fell down about a foot and it broke. That's what I'm talking about. This thing is $60 and it just broke on me. I just, this is my second one. I just got the replacement and this thing broke on me. This stuff, it happens all the time. This thing is about $20 more than this one. And honestly, they're both about the same other than the fact that this one's longer. So uh, if you're gonna go ahead and get one of these, I would recommend just getting the Vortex just because it's cheaper and it does about the same. If you get it through Amazon, you can just return it if you need to, or if it doesn't have that problem for you, then hey, good for you. All right, so the Vortex cleaning tool, at the time that I looked at it was 44 and some change. Uh, and the uh, Tornador was 61, so almost $20 more expensive. Like I said, I would recommend that you go with the cheaper of the two, the Vortex cleaning tool. It's for the money, it's almost identical. It does almost exactly the same. You're gonna save money. And to be honest, they both really aren't that durable. I just, they're just not, to be honest. I know I'm a little rough on stuff, but I've heard about a lot of them breaking on people too. So, but I will say it is one of the most important tools that I have in my arsenal. I use it on every single vehicle, no matter what the service is. You gotta have this. If you're detailing, you gotta have it. It's a game changer, it's amazing. So I'm gonna have links to these uh, in the description below. Uh, so you guys can pick them up if you want. I uh, appreciate you guys watching another video. If you have any questions on this, let me know. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer your questions uh, as I can. Um, and I'm gonna keep bringing out content like this for you guys, okay? So thank you guys again for watching and I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos. See you guys on the next one, right? Peace out, stay slick. Ooh.